when I left Another World, I didn't, I didn't know. I was so tired, I didn't know how long it would be till I acted again. Um, and uh, I also got a divorce right after I left. So I moved back to Cedar City to live with my parents and I thought I thought for a while I wouldn't act. I'd been acting since I was two and I thought well, I'll just take a break and see if I want to do something else. I don't even know anything. I've never done anything else so I don't know. I mean, maybe I really have a love of science and or maybe I really have a love of baseball. But I just I honestly didn't know if I liked anything else. Um, my parents were very very poor. We did not have a phone in our house and so I was in town in Cedar City and I would went to the gas station one day and said somebody's trying to get a hold of you <laughs> from California some agent person from California and I said oh and I didn't pay any attention and then you know a week later I went to McDonald's and the people at McDonald's said somebody in California is trying to get a hold of you <laughs> um, and after about four times of someone in town telling me that someone was trying to get hold of me I called my old agent who was indeed calling random businesses in Cedar City seeing if anyone knew where I was and trying to track me down and so I called her from the payphone at Kmart and she said all my children has called and they'd like you to come audition for them um, but you need to be there tomorrow and I said okay so she gave me the sides I wrote them I ran into Kmart and got a pencil and some paper I wrote them down over the phone because um, I didn't have another way to get them because that was before faxes. Um, I wrote them down on the phone. I drove to I, uh, drove to Vegas that night and flew in on the red eye to get here to audition. Again, not really having very much knowledge of of, of the role except what I had scribbled down on this piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So um, I had my handwritten script and I came in and um, and auditioned that day. And I didn't really expect very much to come out of it because. You know, it it wasn't where my it wasn't where my head was or what I was thinking about. I was, you know, I was just trying to get my brothers to Little League in Cedar City. <laughs> and talk about your character. Well, I mean, all all my children was doing a very daring thing at the time, and um, they were they were going to do this six month role, which was part of the reason when they offered me the job. Part of the reason that I took it was that it was only going to be six months, because I had gotten so worn out the time before. I thought six months, that's great. Of course, I can do six months. Um, they were going to do this very daring thing and bring on a character and uh, and have her have AIDS, and and. Then after about three months, they liked it so well they decided to, to keep her and they asked me to stay for another three months and then another three months and then after that they asked me to stay for three years.